Today we're going to show you how to set up your REQ231 Dual 31 Band Graphic Equalizer. This is a perfect graphic EQ for fine tuning the sound for live performances, DJ events, and much more. Now the REQ231 is 2U rack mountable, so we can place it into a rack unit or a rack bag by lining the two screw holes on each side of the unit up to the rack mount and using two screws for each side to lock it into place. Now for a live setup, we'll want to connect the EQ to a passive mixer that is connected to a power amp powering passive speakers or to a passive mixer that is connected to active speakers. For this setup, we'll be using a power amp, but remember the setup with active speakers is exactly the same. So we can make all the connections to our mixer, EQ, and amp by using either quarter inch cables or XLR cables. Today we're going to be using XLR cables. So start by taking two XLR cables and plugging the female ends into the main outputs of our passive mixer. Then we're going to want to take the male ends and plug them into the XLR inputs for channel one and two on our EQ. Now to plug the EQ into our power amp, we'll need another pair of XLR cables. You're going to again take the female ends and plug them into the XLR outputs on the EQ and take the male ends and plug them into the XLR inputs on the power amplifier. Don't forget to connect your passive speakers to your power amp using either speak on cables or quarter inch speaker cables. After that, your setup is complete and now as the name suggests, you have 31 frequency bands for both the left and right channels that you can use to affect the sound coming out of your speakers. Now each channel comes with an audio in slash out bypass switch to turn the EQ on or off. It also has an IO meter in and out button which will affect the LED meter display. When pressed in, the LEDs will show the output levels coming out of the EQ and when unpressed, it will show the input levels coming through the EQ. There's also a low cut knob on each channel that will cut out any frequencies under 400 hertz, which is great if you're going to use this EQ with a subwoofer in your system. There's also a high cut knob which can cut out any frequencies under 30 kilohertz. Each channel also comes with a range button which will boost or cut any frequencies by 6 or 12 dB. And each channel comes with an input knob to set the level of everything coming into the EQ. Now keep in mind with this setup we can EQ the overall mix since we're sending both the left and right channels through the outputs of our mixer into our EQ. We actually have a demo set up, so let's go check Perry out for that. What's up guys? So as you can see, I have my REQ 231 all set up with my passive mixer, my amp, and my two speakers. So first I'm gonna start with the EQ turned off, and then I'm gonna kick it in midway so we can really hear the difference. Here we go. Okay. Again, this is without the EQ. Doesn't sound too bad on its own. Well, let's hear it with the EQ kicked on. Woo! I mean, that's a big difference. The bass sounds so much better. You really hear that high end. Mid sounds great as well. Oh yeah. So as you guys can hear, the REQ231 really makes a big difference in our sound. We have all of these different frequency bands that we can use to really dial in the tone, really can make a big difference in your live or DJ setups. So let's go back to Mike for more. Now another setup we can do with the REQ231 is to use it with individual channels on a passive or powered mixer if your mixer has insert jacks on those channels. For this we'll want to use a quarter inch Y cable so we can plug into the inserts on any of the channels of our mixer. To do this, just take the single quarter inch side of your Y cable and plug that into the insert jack on whichever channel you want to use the EQ with on your mixer. Then take the other two ends of the Y cable and plug one side into the input and the other side into the output on the same channel of your EQ. The benefit of this setup is when we use the EQ with just one channel, we can further affect the sound solely coming through that one channel, on top of using the built-in effects of that one channel from our mixer. This gives us a more concentrated and precise sound. So hopefully this video showed you how easy it is to set up your REQ 231 31 band EQ. But again, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support tech team through phone or email. We'll see you guys in the next one.